when I last had the engine running on steam at the, the Cobridge Steam Rally, that's how I had the exhaust pipe with a bit of rubber pipe of it. And um, what I've decided to do is I've got a, got a nice copper tube here, it will, it'll clean up. I'm going to put that in there and then put a mountain on the bottom so I've got a, a nice piece of tube exhaust and straight down into the ground. I've got a pipe fitting here, unfortunately it's the wrong size. Um, I'll have to make a bush for it so the pipe slides through it and that will fasten onto the base down there. I think it'll look a lot better than that. This piece of inch brass bar, it's ideal, it'll go into there and that'll clamp quite nicely. I'm just going to face one in, drill a hole in it and part the piece off. Nice imperial drill here, 1930 seconds, which is very, very near the 15 mil. Well, that'll do the job very nicely indeed. Just before I fully part this off, I want to put a little shampoo on both edges. Don't like sharp edges. probably wondering why I'm using a piece of second hand pipe instead of a new piece well the thing is this is old copper water pipe um, it's quite a lot thicker than the, the modern stuff which is not very thick at all a friend of mine put the bend in for us as well so I want that just about touching there so another quarter inch off that off the end of here Right, so we're a nice clean tape on edge. That's just what I wanted, nearly touching the wood. I've got to get this straight and make sure that this is in line as well. Right, I managed to get the paint off it. I actually warmed it up and burnt the paint off. That's the, the olive and the, the nut. Nip right out and that crimps the olive onto the tube. Right. Idiot. <laughs> oh, that's better. That's beautiful fit, that. This trick was shown to me by a real joiner. Keep a drill. To keep a drill square, 
you can do that and when the thing stops moving it's actually square it's moving in there and basically I can look I can line it up that way and if I keep that in the middle of the drill like that Be reasonably straight. That should be alright. There's a wash on there just to space it out a little bit and then the fitting can screw on. That's gonna need one more washer in there just to make it absolutely spot on. Once this gets, like I say, once this gets a bit of heat on it, it'll get a nice cottery patina about it. And a great one for bullshit and polish. Because they'll make a thing, see things clean. There you go. Right, this is the toolbox. It's had some writing on the top, but it's actually faded. It's hard to tell what it does say. I haven't got the key, that's the first thing it's missing. There's one little handle missing off there. I'm sure I'll be able to make one of them. The first drawer is full of reamers. One more tape of reamers. Imperial Imperial I think all your stuff in this box will be Imperial Got the initials BF, BFS on there, I don't know if that was a, the guy who owned it So we've got a nice assortment of small reamers Machine reamers And some hand reamers, I have to tape our reamer for tape our pins Very nice. The draw above that one. Taps and dies. Nice little die holder. So I will go through these in a bit more time. 5 BA. 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 
work with. Let's draw down some milling cutters, high speed steel tools. Nice little square there. Another one. Some brand new milling cutters. I'll have a quick look on your drawers. Top one. Just on the drills. More shape I see you there. More than right one, a good one. These drills will be all decent quality drills. Being nicely sharpened, very nicely sharpened as well. Small drills, some really small ones. What would call, we should call these cobbler or jet drills for drilling. Cobra a jet out. The one there's been put into a nice metal holder. Right, the first big draw. Long drill. Two long drills. Some pieces of silver steel. Not sure. Lots of it's a glass, magnifying glass. A pin chuck. I think I say I'll go through it all in a bit more detail. I think that's pallet mods, rulers. It's a nice little chuck. Engineers jacks, a nice set of them. Therefore, I'm weird like a like apprentices piece. Last draw. One inch micrometer. Two inch micrometer. Then you sort of scrape as and handmade bits and pieces. That's a nice clock that. Needs a new face on it. I'm sure Bob will be able to sort that one out for us. With a close up. All in all, I'm very happy. Um, I didn't pay a lot of money for it. In the box, I'll be keeping the box. A lot of the stuff I'll be keeping or swapping or giving away. Nice sort of handmade scraper there. I've actually got a tip. Got a tip set into it. Makes you wonder how many boxes like this are actually lying about or have just been thrown away and lost forever. Anyway, this one will be. Look forward to empty it out and seeing exactly what's in there. Even the felt's in good condition, it's certainly been looked after. Can't see a mate has a name on it. So there is some writing on the top which it may clean up. But basically I'm very happy with it. Dovetails and steel corners on the edges. Or steel reinforcing pieces on the corners.
if you're seeing to see it, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes that are coming in towards me way for me dad. Thanks for watching. This is the best way to cut pipe with a proper tube cutter. It means when you come to fit the olive on, you've got a nice <laughs> yeah, John.